What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Metro Bus Hub. We're also going to be expanding the city by adding a high-end commercial and office hub. Guys, if you go ahead and enjoy today's video, smash a like on the video. Also, consider subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with more City Skyline videos. And guys, I'd just like to say quickly, thank you for all your support on all the videos so far. They are slowly getting popped off by the YouTube algorithm. So make sure you smash a like on this video if you're new, so you can get recommended more City Skyline videos. Guys, with that said, enjoy today's video. Guys, welcome back to another video. We're currently at Starlight Zoo, just checking out the elephants. Now, elephants and the zookeepers are doing incredible, guys. Let's come back up and have a look at how much money we're actually making at Starlight Bay Zoo. So, we're making $4,000. So we're, we're making profit. We're making at least $2,000 profit or so. Let's spin the camera around. There's been a lot of changes. We are making profit on Cozy Gardens. But, guys, between the last episode and now, it looks completely different. Now, these two districts here were different names. I can't rem there was Mayfair or something and then there was something else. I can't remember what they were. Myrtle Heights. Must have been Myrtle Heights. I don't know. But there's been a bit of changes. I completely ripped out this district here. Um, I was thinking, I don't think it was like the best road layout so I decided to get rid of it all and re, re configure the road layout. So it's more beneficial and the traffic can flow a lot easier. We also, Grove Heights and Rosewood Square, of course, guys, Grove Heights, it is this district over here, and it's no longer part of over here now. This is going to be Rosewood Square, and you can see there is a big difference in terms of the road layout. Now, we used to have a roundabout here, now everything has changed. I mean, everything has changed. We have a better road layout structure here. We've got our six-lane road that comes down into a T-section, and we have these two lane, four lane roads that are like our buffer roads, like this is our collector roads or type thing, I don't know what they call it, but yeah, it's a better road layout, I've got all the road layouts in, and it's really beneficial, right, um, and it's going to work, because I wanted to make sure there was going to be something that's going to work, I completely rezone this whole area, basically reworked all of Grove Heights, and we were talking about that in the last episode, or a couple of episodes, but I did... I went through here, I got rid of all the zoning, all the zoning everywhere, and I've redone the road structure here. And the road structure also over here at Cozy Heights has also been redone as well. So all the residents disappeared, and now we've slowly got them all back, but we still have to configure this area over here. But as you see, we're not in current demand for com or for residential. We're actually in more demand for our industry and a little bit for our commercial zoning. But you can see we've got some colder stacks here. What I'm thinking of doing in today's episode is actually I was thinking of using colder stacks here, but I'm thinking of creating like maybe a commercial high-end commercial. What do they call it? High density commercial and office zoning complex around here. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Now we're having a lot of traffic here because of silly people, they're merging right here. So I might just come in through here and just go say, hey, you're not allowed to merge. There we go. All right, so that's going good. Our train is here getting load up 100%. I must have installed a mod that they have to be 100% full before they leave. So that is that. We've also upgraded this district over here, which is now Garn Garland. Oh, let me lift my mic up a bit so I can see. Garland District. So this is Garland District. This is a brand new area. Um, definitely just rezoned, rezoned the area, redone the road structure, um, just to get traffic in and out a lot more flow. Make sure that everything flows a little bit more. Um, you see six lane comes in, six lane comes out this side here. And we've got our buffer roads here. And it's a little bit better. I think the traffic is not too bad. Let's have a look at our traffic. Yeah, it's, it's currently red, but it's expected. It's an industrial area. I've also added another warehouse here for all our plain timber. So that's going good. Nothing else has changed here. We can come up this road here. I've actually expanded Valley Park a little bit. Valley Park is expanded a little bit more. And what else do I do in here? Woodland Wood Production. Yes, uh, off this road here, this is a one-way road that comes down. Off this road here, I've added a cargo train terminal. So all our raw products that come out of here, all our machinery, all our engineered wood plants and our paper plants can actually go straight to and be exported. 
Now, if we come over to Starlight Oil, nothing has been done over here. We're still doing really good. We were making nearly $70,000 a week at the start of the video. So, we're actually doing not too bad. How full is this train coming in? 7%. That's cool. All right, bit of traffic here. What is the hold up here at the moment? It's because everyone's trying to merge into their lane. That's why. So, we'll say that you can't merge there and you can't merge um, here. Ah, did I do that? Yeah, I did. Alright, let's speed that up. Let's speed the game up. Let's see if that works. Alright, so we're doing not too bad there, but we are going to be starting to look at the commercial and office district area. We do have a lot of money. I also like to unlock this square here. I want to complete Grove Heights and get this area all built up. And I also was thinking about, I want to add like a cargo harbour and all that jazz. I figured in this area here for a harbour would actually be really cool. Because you can see when we go to our boat lines, you can see our boat line comes all the way along here. And I think this area over here would be very beneficial. Because, oh, you might have also seen something very slightly. You can see that we also added some metros in. So we've also got our metros. I've installed a lot of metros. And as you can see, we've got big loops here. Loop here, loop here, loop here, loop here. And then when we build this section up here, we'll have another loop. We've got a little one-way loop here that comes around here. And a loop here, and a loop here, and a loop here. And, yeah, that's it. Now, if we have a look, um, if we go back to our metros, you see our metros are actually quite busy. Very, very busy, our metros, which is good to see. Thumbs up, all happy. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at this zoning over here because we are in real demand for some commercial and some industry. This is going to be a commercial and what's he hub. So we're just going to delete some of these roads here. And we're just going to start placing down some roads. So I think the six lane roads are going to be very beneficial because that's going to what's going to bring the traffic in. So I might go, what's that? 20. I might actually also do the trees. I think that might look a little bit better. And we'll go 20 over here as well. 90, Okay, cool. So that is in. We've got, it comes around like a bend. We may even just get rid of these two here. And we might actually just create a pretty nice bend in here like so. Nice bend. I don't think I want to make this area too big. Because making this area too big will result in very, very busy traffic. So I don't want to do this too much in this area let's have a look i might add a road in like here and i might add a road in like here and i want to make sure let's add a bit of greenery in this area here i'm one yeah let's add a bit of greenery i think um this will make this area look a little bit nicer like so and i might add like a road up here that comes down this side here as well so i've got this layout here so so far and now what i'm thinking of what we could actually do now, we definitely need water over here, so let's make sure we add our water supply in. Right, our water supply is in. We should make sure we add the basic services in. So let's maybe get these maybe on the main road. We'll get a medical center. We'll get a fire station. Actually, that fire station could actually go next to the medic place here. Um, let's look at somewhere that's going to be good, like there. And we'll also get a copper station in here as well. Well, we'll find a nice spot to put it, like there, there we go, that is in, these guys are going to be nice and happy, now, let's start adding some districts in here, we might put some offices in the back here, around the, these areas here, nice up the back here, so I'm going to, I'm thinking of putting offices up the back here, and we may even just do some high density commercial along the front here. All right, there you go. So we got some power into this area right now. These guys should be starting to be a little bit happier that now they've got some power. Now, this is all high density commercial and all that jazz. We've got some office complexes coming in here. So all our highly educated employees will be able to work in this area. Now, this area is easily being able to be expanded. We may even add some more roads in, so then we can future develop this area like so and like so we're gonna add some more roads in so give me one second all right so i've added some more road in this will be our last road here like so i've added some more road network in we are not gonna expand this area just yet 
because there's no need at the moment. But we will make sure we do have a bit of water supply for this area down here like so. There we go. So we got some water in. These guys should be happy. We should start seeing this place start to flourish a little bit more. Now, we can expand down here. I think this would be alright to expand down here a little bit. So, let's maybe upgrade some of this road here so we can actually do future development down this end of the woods. Let's add a nice stretch of road in down like so. Then you have that road that comes in. So, that'll be like a T section. And then we can actually add these roads in here. Um, even if I just go like this, go one up that way and one down this way maybe. And then I can actually add those off roads along the side here maybe. What do you guys reckon? Comment down below, what do you guys reckon? Would that work? All right, so what I've done, I've, I've expanded this area a little bit. We'll start running the game a bit. What I might also do, what I'm considering, we may also would like to add some footpaths into this area as well to get our citizens walking around the joint so then they could all be nice and happy. All right, so what I've done is I've added a couple of foot pubs in to get people walking around. Now we are having a connection problem here, so I'm gonna just fix that up, get it right here. So there we go, I might delete that power line there. Should be able to run the game. This should all start being connected now. They're all gonna be nice and happy. We're also gonna add a metro line around here as well. So I'm thinking I would like to maybe go, let's have a look. Might go one there. Well, actually, actually, you know what I might do is I'll delete that metro line there. And we'll go maybe one on the corner. Can we fit one on the corner? Can we go like, yeah, one there. Can we go on the corner there? Nah, can't go there. Yeah, we can go somewhere around here. We'll go corner there. Come down to this area. Then I might come like so. Maybe go a metro line there. And maybe go a line there. So what we'll do is we'll go underground. We'll actually start connecting all of these up like so. There we go. So I've added a line around the joint here with a connection in here. So I'm going to add, can I add a stop, create a new line from here to here and back again. So that's going to be like our buffer to get people from here over into our new zoning area. Now I'm going to add not another one of them. I'm going to add a line that comes right around the edge here like so and I'm also going to add another line that comes back around. So we have one that goes around this way and we have one that goes around this way and I think that will be pretty cool. Guys what do you reckon? Comment down below what do you reckon? And some of these people are really happy now because they got a metro in here which is really cool and I'm glad they're happy. Now that is all built up nicely. This is a nice little area for our commercial and all that jazz. I'm quite happy that this area is flourishing a little bit more. I am going to add some more high dense commercial in here. Making sure we can cover some area like so. I might just get rid of some of that zoning there. I don't want to go too close into this area here. I don't think I want to do that just at the moment. Now, in terms of, we'll have a nice stretch of road here doing that. I may do office in that area. And then I might also, I'm thinking we'll go maybe high dense commercial down here. Or actually, you know what? Let's remove that there. I know some people are going to be really not happy, but I think we might be beneficial to come down this road here. And then what we can do is come down this road here, because this is where all our metros are. All our metros are located around this area here. And what I might do is go high dance, high dance. Then I might put some low dance commercial in around here, maybe. What do you guys reckon? Comment down below, what do you guys reckon? And I think that might be okay. And then we can add a nice all our offices in around the joint. And that should be alright. Thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up. Is it good? You reckon this area is going to be alright? And then once this area gets built up, oh man, it's going to be so good. I haven't been some traffic issues, but we've got a lot of traffic. A lot, a lot of traffic. And a lot of people are just merging over. So, hmm. So maybe I should go, maybe stay in that lane, stay in that lane. And then basically when you're coming out of this road, you should really get into your lane straight away type thing. I might also, because this area is not currently open for business just yet, I may just turn off all the traffic lights along this 
road here. Actually, a lot of them is over there, so I might just keep the traffic lights on around here, here, and here. Keep these traffic lights off, and keep these ones off, and keep these ones off. Okay, that is good. Now, it says that we've got disconnected power lines. Okay, yes. No, maybe. No, this is this area here. Okay, we're not worried about this area at the moment, so let's not worry about that. Let's add some water in here to make these guys nice and happy. And now, it's not the best wired up job, but... Hey, it's all okay. We'll add a nice power line in here, and we'll try and see if we can connect it up like that. There we go. So this area will start to flourish a lot more, and I think I'm going to add some tree, tree line around the back here, so then a lot of these people don't get angry, because we do have a bigger manufacturing facility right here, and I'm going to add some more industrial off the road here. So, I mean, that might be really cool to see, but guys... You've all been, you've all clicked on this video because we're going to be taking a look at the bus metro hub. So, we're going to make sure we de-zone what's happening here. We've got some zoning here. I don't want zoning there. Let's make sure we get rid of that. And also, let's get rid of that zoning there as well. Now, these metros are busy, 157 and 139. So, these metros are quite busy. We're doing actually not too bad. And this is going to be a good area to start off our area. Oh, what? I have no idea what I'm actually talking about. Guys, please forgive me. I do not know what I'm talking about. But guys, there we go. Add a road in there. And then I want to have a look. How big is this bus metro hub? So I think the bus metro hub's in here somewhere. Inner city bus hub. Bus metro hub. What's this? Metro intercity bus hub. So I think I want to go bus metro hub. What do you guys reckon? Bus metro hub. Bus terminal and metro hub where tracks go in a four hub designed to funnel large quantities of people using city buses and metro. What's this? Um, designed to guide people to and from the city. Citizens easily switch between inner city bus and metro. Provides citizens and tourists with easy access to outside connections and public transport. So the metro intercity bus hub. Okay. Now if I was to put that down. Oh, okay. It's one of those roads. Okay, let's put this down. I just want to have a look. A sec. Let's chuck a little road in here. I want to have a look. What's the difference? What can we do with this one here? Let's add that in. Let's have a look. Can we actually create bus lines in as well? Like, if I come here to bus, and I come here to... I need a bus line. Okay, I can. Bus terminal. Let's come down a bit. So we've got our bus terminal there. Okay, okay, um, that's intercity. What do you guys reckon? Should I do like maybe an intercity one? Comment down below. I might do an intercity. I don't really want to run buses in here. If I can use an intercity, I can have my own bus line. Um, definitely to our industrial areas. That is definitely something I want to look at. So let's have a look what we can do here. I may go up one. I might even go from this road. Let's have a look. Give me one sec. I'm going to build this up a, uh, very quickly. Alright guys, so I finally tried to build this area up. I have to flatten the land out a bit. But guys, let's add this Metro Intercity Bus Hub in. Let's add it in maybe around about here. There we go. So this will be a Bus and Metro Hub. So we're going to add that in. We're also maybe just going to configure some of our Metro lines that we've got in here. Because we've got some metro lines running here. Um, very massive, massive metro lines. Massive, massive metro lines. Okay. Let's maybe configure some of these lines. So give me one sec. So I fixed up this area here a bit. And we've got some, I don't know, better line connections, guys. What do you guys reckon? Better line connections. I think that'll be alright. This will come into here. And just make sure that these will configure these lines up a bit. So I could maybe just go bang, bang, and then just go bang, and bang. That will fix that up there. And then what I might do is go from here, add a new, uh, new line to there, to there. Can I add a stop there? No, I can't. Can I add a stop into there? Maybe, oh, I can't do that. If I can try and fix this bend up right here, I might fix this bend up. Because I think I've got something cool in mind. So, I tried to fix this up. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Can that work now? Yes, it can. Okay. Let's maybe go... I'm thinking... 
I'm just thinking right now. I think I'm gonna delete this line here and we're gonna just delete this line like so. So we're gonna go from here, bang, da, 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 into the bus hub, bus metro hub, and then we'll bring this line back around like so guys. This is an intercity bus hub, so this will be pretty cool. And it's starting to get some people. Um, I should really get rid of this district that I put in place right here. I'm gonna remove this district righty that's no longer needed in this area. Now, we do not grow heights. Is that a district around here? Yes, it is. Okay, good. All right, let's have a look at what else we can do. I'd like to add maybe some commercial into this area. That might be pretty cool, so we'll add a bit of commercial there, there, all along the side here because this is more more or less like a little area for people to are coming in to the area like so and I'll put one in like so there now I may also consider putting making sure we've got some nice little areas in here um how much can I add in here I might go like so and then maybe add some high density in around the back end here so that's cool high density in here okay so our metros are connected, which is good to see. Now, I might get rid of this little area, because that's a bit odd having that little bit of tree right there. So, I'm going to just, if I can upgrade that road. There you go. I'm going to upgrade that road. Now, the road, road's coming. This is a cul-de-sac. I still want to keep the cul-de-sac in this area. So, you've got two lanes coming into here and one lane turning into this area here. So, yeah, okay. This area's doing all right. Let's maybe, can I add in... I'll have to add in this bus a depot. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, where am I going to put it? It might be best for me to put it in this area down here. Um, just trying to find an area. Maybe put it in there. And can we add, if I come, uh, I'm all over the place. Where is my city? Um, up this way? <laughs> up this way? Nope. <laughs> nope, not that side. Up this side? Yeah, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Ah, oh, here you go. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> we found it. We found it, guys. We found it. So, wait, wait. What's this bus here? Can I just find out what this bus is? Intercity bus hub. Okay, so this is like, okay, transporting people. And I can, oh, okay, that's cool. So, I can actually add a line in here. So, create a line from there. I'm going to actually create a bus line. I, if I know what I'm doing, I'm going to add a bus line into this area here. Here. I might add a bus stop in around here. Maybe add a stop in. Well, people are going to get enter in about there. Enter stop there. And just maybe back into this area down here. So we'll complete the line like so. And we may add another line in. Can we add another line in? Uh, so that's that line. Let's add another line in there. And that line is going to come straight down into our oil facility area. We currently got two bus routes in to go to our commercial, or not our commercial, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I think we got two bus routes going to our timber industry and our oil industry, so that's our two lines there. Then we're gonna have another line for our oil industry, our farming industry, and let's get another line to our, let's have a look at our, this area here. This is our commercial district area. What's in my job area here? So let's add a line in around here. I think that might be beneficial. We'll be next to our metro down there. We'll add some stops in around around here somewhere. Like so. Might even come down this way. I'll turn down here and come down there. And we'll finish it down here and I just go there 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 and you're gonna get tired of me saying there 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 oh no what are we gonna ever do but this is our intercity bus hub right here guys we don't have a lot of people in here at the moment but this should start getting busy over times which is pretty cool to see now we are in more demand for more industry so that's good we're gonna make sure we add a nice office area in up here um, where can we add next? Where can we add next? I might actually get rid of some of these poles here because they might in affect some zoning in this area. Um, let's have a look where we can get it. So we can go right in here. So that'll be pretty cool. 
let's have a look. Let's maybe get like the paintbrush thingamajiggy and we might just start painting this area up like so. This is cool. This area is coming along. We're going to get some more offices in this area here. I may even consider doing down into this area as well. So I might get rid of some of these offices in here. There we go. Might get rid of some of that. It's not neat. Actually, got to get rid of that light pole. I think that is what we needed to do. Let's get rid of that light pole. Let's add some more offices in here like so. And maybe go over here because we are in a bit of demand at the moment and go maybe down here Come along the side back here. Maybe not. I might not do that yet. We'll come along here along the sides Keep the middle at the moment I'm not gonna worry about the middle and I might just go around this area here There we go. We can see that they are coming through the back here nicely and if we spin right to the front Wow Wow, wow, wow. I was not expecting that. There is a lot of people and these are all going like the discount sales. This is all this area right here. So we've got a lot of people wanting to catch the bus into that area. But they should also maybe catch and what are they is going to the small pump mill, wood chips. So a lot of people here are going to work as well. It might be I don't know. What do you guys reckon? It might be beneficial getting a metro line into down into this area as well. Uh, so people can go to work and do all that fun thing. This is really a funky metro line that comes right through down here along the highway. Like so. Comes down to here. And I've got one metro in here. And we've got another metro in here. So this hasn't got people yet. Now, wait, let's go back to the industry. Do we have people coming out of this one yet? No, not, not yet, not yet, not yet. All right, so our Metro bus hub is going all right. Let's zoom in so we can take a look. Let's come down a little bit more. There we go. Oh my God, it's so busy. It is so busy, guys. And this is what we like to see, guys. We like to see people actually using our infrastructure we provide to them. Because I think that is absolutely awesome. It's good to see they like it. That's what I like about you. Yeah. Okay. I think that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. We've got the bus terminal in. Bus metro hub. And I'm so excited that this is actually finally working. I'm so excited. Guys, in the next episode, we're going to be building a waste, water, and energy management area. Where we can do all our energy, all our water, all our sewerage, everything. That is all going to be coming up in the next episode, which will be releasing this Thursday at 5 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Smash a like on the video so you get recommended when these videos do come out. Also, smash that subscribe button so you get notified when I upload that video or any City Skyline videos I produce here on the channel and in this series. So, guys, I don't know what I'm talking about, but, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Start now by smashing the like on the video, click here to subscribe, click up here to watch the last video, and click down here to watch the full playlist of City Skylines. Guys, I will catch you all in another video soon. Guys, peace out.